Hey there, welcome to part 16 of Let's Play Pokemon Emerald Nuzlocke Run. I'm your host, Heath, and today I am going to be taking on the gym leader of Morvile City, Watson. Um, this is going to be a pretty haphazard part. I am away from home, and there are actually other people in the room right next door to me. There is actually not a wall between me and those people. They are listening, one of them is looking at me right now. Um, I don't have my notebook, I don't have my timer, so essentially I am playing this part by ear and <coughs> by broken, horrible lung, if you will. So I apologize for the um, less than stellar quality that it will no doubt have, as well as the um, presumably late upload. Fuck you, Voltorb. That is... Okay, I lived. Voltorbs... Voltorbs are just evil little things. They get mistaken for Pokeballs, and then they blow up in your hand. Plus, they don't even look... Sure, they're the same colours and shape as a Pokeball, but you look at the Pokedex, they're three feet! How the hell can you mistake something like that for a little item that you can, like, shrink down and put in your pocket? Fake out! I hate fighting Electrikes because they have static. This one doesn't, though, so it's a good Electrike. However, it does have a never-missing Electric-type move. Um, you also may have noticed that, um, Fowler does not have that Fowler does not have, um, Flamethrower, despite me saying that he would. I called him Fowler, his name will not be, her name will not be Fowler. It's the name of a Combuskin from another place, so just ignore it. Um, I decided that it's a bit hard, a bit cheap to give myself such a strong move so early on, and I also was having trouble winning the money for it. So instead of giving myself an overpowered move now, what I am going to probably do is um, just not do it. So you know, stunning. <laughs> Thank you, I know. We are down to his last Pokemon and a terrible beast it is. Okay, I'm going to start this off right now with a... Use critical hit ratio because it is hard to kill. And if a critical will do it for me, then I am not going to complain in the least. It also it does a lot of damage with shockwave, so I'm not really worried about it using howl as it is now. And the phone's going off. I can't use this part. You know what? I can use this part. There's just gonna be a phone call through the middle of it. But don't worry, you won't hear it. You'll just hear me saying, you can't, I can't use this part, and then the music will skip, and then this will be happening. So it's all okay. If you're really curious, that lasted for about 8 minutes, and now I'm not quite sure how long is left in this video. But it's only been the Watson battle, so I'm going to assume that lasted about 5 or 6 minutes. I'm so glad I managed to do that without anyone dying. I mean, Jelly would have just been murdered to death by anyone in this gym. And here we get Shockwave, that move <coughs> that I've been mentioning a lot. Um, if I had wanted to, I could have, well, if I had been capable of it, I could have kept playing in the game corner and also gotten Ice Beam and Thunderbolt, which is better than the other move that I was referencing. Does the hipster have anything new to say? I don't know. He's already... I've already taught... I'm, I was pretty sure he taught you a new word a day, but that doesn't seem to be the case anymore for me. Maybe it's because of my... I'm pretty sure my emulator's clock is actually on, but okay. No. Give me back my Pokemon. Yes. I understand. Gimme, gimme, gimme. So that happens every time you try to get a Pokemon. You actually breed, but I'm not gonna. And I'm not gonna bother explaining it either. So look at that, now Jelly Nose missed a move that I'm not going to use. 
the reduction of abilities, it, it means stat reduction, it doesn't mean like it will stop the move Worry Seed, which I don't believe actually exists yet. Um, if you're curious, Worry Seed turns your ability into Insomnia. It's great for particularly Grudon in Heart in Soul Silver, because Grudon has rest. So yeah, um, Worry Seed turns its ability into Insomnia, which means it can't fall asleep and heal itself. Although the sunlight will remain. Okay, we get the shittiest HM ever. Ah, uh, joy, I can't believe I have to teach this to one of my Pokemon. 20 base damage, and jeez, it can lower attack. Tyson is going to be the one saddled with this, because he's the most competent of my Pokemon, so... I think he can endure losing tackle. I know that this gives him shitty type coverage, but eventually Arm Thrust is probably going to be replaced. Though I do like saying, eat yellow Arm Thrust. Now we are going to... Watch TV. Watch TV. Tyson of my Makuhita. Charmer? He is not charming! He's murderous. <laughs> Do you not see his bruise-inflicted hands? Okay, now, for our next HM, very quickly, we just need to wipe out this guy. And I'm going to let Jelly do it. Oh god, wait. Oh no, no, that's a Geodude. It's got rock-type attacks, so let's use Gust! Uh -huh, let's use Gust twice, because I'm pressing A too much. Absorb instead, children. Absorb! Absorb! I don't know why I'm training Wimpelin, because she's a bitch. Oh, Morning Sun, it heals her! If it's normal, I believe she gets half her health. In Sandstorm Hail, she gets a third or a quarter or so. And in... In Sunlight, she gets all her health back, so... Morning Sun can be a very good move. So, hooray for that. My bitch is able to live longer. Bitch. She can suck your brains out, that's kind of cool, but she's a bitch. Okay, I'm gonna put Jelly at the front of my party because... No, I... <sighs> I'm gonna put Wormpool in at the front of my party because she needs the levels more than Jelly does. And now I'm just gonna... Oh look, Wishman, I can't be bothered to kill him. They won't drill through this tunnel because of the Pokemon, but they're fine with random trainers coming in and murdering everything. Okay, talk to her. No, 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 he's on the other side of this rock. Not that rock. This rock. Look, I'll show you. Shiny Harry Arm breaks shit. Hooray! HM04. That's strength! The move that I'm now going to teach Tyson! <laughs> yes, that's right, I'm already going to teach it to Tyson instead of Fake Out. She doesn't sound too happy over him being able to visit whenever he wants. Um, Tyson... Oh, I like saying eat yellow arm thrust. Thank you to whoever made that phrase. I actually had your name written down in my book, but as I mentioned, it's not here. But I suppose... Uh, don't look at me like that. These people are judging me with their eyes. They've agreed not to talk though, so... Fake Out is a useful move because it means he outspeeds things, which he won't often do. And Vital Throw is a useful move because it's powerful. Alright, goodbye Arm Thrust, you're not a useful move. So now my Tyson has a very good move set. And we are able to proceed. I think this has been going for about 10 minutes now. I should have looked at Fox. Um, oh, the fat guy who was telling us about the... Rock Smashed Maniac is gone, now that we've actually been to the Rock Smashed Maniac. So, he's unimportant. I don't know if I told you about the fat guy, but whatever. Well, that's because they're bitches and they fight you together. Interview! You're assaulting my pets! How is this an interview? 
I actually don't mind the reporters, they've got, like, kind of neat, I suppose, yeah. Plus, their Pokemon suit them. Get it? Oh! That wasn't a worded pun, like, Wishma, the noise one, and then Magnemite, the, the computer one, so they do actually suit them. I don't know why I use Stun Spore when I knew I would be able to kill the Wishman very quickly. Oh well. And you'll meet these reporters several times throughout the game, and their Pokemon do eventually evolve to Magneton and x -Bloud. Yes, I will give you an interview. Uh, if you tell them a word, then they will put it... If you do the interview, then they will put it on the television, and you can actually see your interview. As she just explained. And this cameraman will say, You're a natural! Yay! I'm natural! No chemicals here, even though chemicals are in everything! You get it? Oh! Snap! Everything is chemicals! Now it has to be all natural chemicals for people to like it, though. Oh! Oh, fuck! I told you you would die on my terms, Wormpool Inn. I stand by that. Jelly! Wait, it's, it's, oh shit, it's using rollout. Oh shit. Shit, shit, shit. I know that doesn't look intimidating, but rollout's power doubles every time it uses it. On the fifth time of using rollout, I think it's more powerful than explosion. Shit. Oh, we resisted, thank god. Now, fake out with stop that power stacking and reset it back to zero, as well as ending the little mammals in life. Hooray! Death. Thank you! Wait. <coughs> <coughs> Is that a compliment? I'm not quite sure. Anyway, I'm gonna go down, down, down. I think I've got time to heal and save before the end of this video. I'm... Yeah, as I said, sorry. Things got out of hand, so... They should be back to normal tomorrow, but, you know, we'll find out. Yee, super speedy save. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you still are by this point, I wouldn't be. I would be like, you know, something else in. Thanks for watching, and see you later.